All right, the trapping season's over with, so I'm going to teach you how to die and wax your traps. I usually wax them before the trapping season, but I do it after the trapping season too. So right now I'm just kind of soaking in a bucket of water and soap, dishwashing liquid, just to clean all the mud and stuff off. And then I'm going to take this wire brush and just clean them up. I ain't got to show you how to do all that, that's pretty simple. I'll show you the next step after that. Okay, now after I clean them, with my wire brush and all that, they're my pretty good. Next is the dye them. The old fashioned way, the way I used to do it, I used to get a pot of water, actually a big metal barrel really, a five gallon and I would boil it, and I'll throw walnut shells into it, and let, the, let it all boil, and then I put all my traps in and let them sit overnight. And when I pull my traps out the next day, they'll be black and dyed and everything. But that's a lot of trouble, a lot of work. So I'm going to use me some paint, this spray paint on. That's what everybody else does around here for tra tra traps. Just don't, if you're going to paint them, uh, don't use one with an enamel or a shellac or any kind of coating on it. No, no, because it makes it, the trap shine and the animals, for some reason, catch it and they avoid your trap altogether. So if you do spray paint them, use a flat paint that has no shellac or enamel or nothing on them and if you want to uh, dye them I'll show you how to do that because I'm about to wax them and the waxing and dyeing process is almost identical alright so I'm just going don't want to get too crazy with this Something just to cover it. Alright, I'll do that to all my traps and I'll show you the next step. Alright, what I'm doing here is boiling a pot of water. I'm breaking up a, some little candles with the wax. I put them in the in the pot, and as the water boils, it uh, melt the wax. I don't need many. Like I don't, I don't have that many traps. I only got about 20 of them. I'm just putting enough to cover the surface. You can see it's already starting to melt. Once all of it melts, I'll start dipping my traps in it. Alright, these are my traps that I died. I mean, I spray painted. Came out pretty good. Let's see, the sunlight's kind of messing everything up. I'm going to take one. Alright, uh, because my bucket's so small, I fold them up a certain way. And I just drop my chain and everything in it. And I just pick it up. Let it drip. Come over here and just let it dry. Now I do it to all of them. Alright. I'm gonna drop them in my waters. Drop the chain and everything. And then pull it out. Slow, slow, slow. Just let it drip. Now I'll come over here with this tree and I'll put them to dry. You can already the sun's kind of bright. You can already see the wax forming a coat on it already. Try to put some shade here so you can see. And this just keeps them from rusting and it makes them waterproof and makes them last forever. Uh, if you wanted to dye them the old fashioned way with walnut husk, basically you do the same thing, but you just boil the walnut husk and then you throw all your traps in them and you leave them there overnight. 
and they come back they come out black it does a good finish on my ain't nothing wrong with the finish this i only got about 20 traps so for me i can't spray paint for a dollar it's a lot faster and easier i can get everything done in one day But if you got a bunch of traps, like a hundred traps, and boiling the walnut husk and throwing them in there, probably be the best way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna dip them about two or three times. All right, you can see I dipped them about two or three times. Now I already got a wax build up, which is what I want. They all covered with a coat of wax. And they got a good black shine to them. Well, not a shine, not a shine, but a black coat on them. I know what the sun's messing with this camera. I'm trying to throw some shade on it. And I'll just put them up for the rest of the year. Whenever trapping season opens up again next year, I'll do that. Uh, sometimes I, I paint them, I coat them again. I don't know before the trapping season. It all depends what kind of shape they're in. Usually I just go trap over to my KR because they stay good all year. And that's it.